Hi, I used to sell tens of thousands of buckwheat hull pillows all over North America. I don't anymore, so the advice I give you I think is pretty unbiased. Uh, anyways, one of the biggest questions people had is, do I need to wash my hulls? Uh, and regardless of what my answer was, I'd like to wash my hulls. Generally, you don't need to wash your hulls. The pillows, you know, last eight, ten years. Uh, you know, they don't really, they're not, they're not edible. The bugs don't like them, so you don't get a lot of, like, buildup of dust mites and that. So, for the most part, I never wash my hulls, but people wanted to wash their hulls. So, I'm going to show you today, really quickly, how to wash hulls. I'm not going to do a whole pillow, because I don't want to do a whole pillow, I'll just do a few, but it'll give you the idea. What... So, what you're going to need is something to wash the hulls in. A sieve to drain the water off the hulls and something to catch the water that comes off the hulls or you put it right down the drain. And you're going to need a bunch of towels to lay the hulls out on afterwards to dry. So here we have our container full of just plain, you know, lukewarm. It can be hot as well. Uh, the hulls are, are pretty much indestructible. Uh, I used to take, we gave a 100% satisfaction guaranteed uh, refund with our pillows and we got, you know, about 1% of our pillows back. I'd take these hulls and I'd put them out in the garden as compost, the, the ones from the pillows that came back because you got to get rid of the stuff. Those hulls would still be there a year later. They are, they are pretty much indestructible. So anyways, lukewarm water. Dump my hulls in, give them a swish around. I never use any soap or anything like that. You just don't need it. Essentially what this does is it just kind of takes the dust off them. Then take my other container, my sieve, swap hands here so you can see the actual thrilling dumping of the hull and water through the sieve. And there you go. So I was doing the whole thing. If I had another hand I'd scoop those all out but I'll do that later on. And as you see, you know, there's a little bit of dust came out of there. So next, you need, for a whole pillow, you're going to need several towels. You know, take the towel, and you take the holes, you lay them out on the towel, and you spread them out like that and you put them in a warm place to dry. They need to be very thinly spread out, so you might be looking at like using four or five towels. Uh, don't put a fan on them because they will blow all over the place and you will no longer have a buckwheat hull pillow. Uh, you just leave them to dry. It's probably gonna take a day or so for them to dry. All right, well, that is my little video on how you clean hulls. If you liked it, Please leave me some uh, positive comments. Uh, check out my other videos. I've got some other videos on buckwheat hull pillows. And uh, I hope this was informative and helpful for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.